Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. And you can continue to vote in our poll throughout the hour. Text your vote to 55333. You're going to see the results change right on your screen in real time. Barack Obama in the lead right now, but you can still influence the outcome by sending us your vote. So keep watching and voting. But first, in spite of the recent cold weather across the nation, hysteria over global warming is not letting up. Al Gore continuing to push the environmental agenda, and this time in Madrid, Spain. But not everybody is on board with the uh, scenario that Gore puts out, and it's not sitting well with one politician. Oregon's governor is threatening to fire his state's climatologist for failing to fall in line with the global warming. And joining us now is the author of the Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and environmentalism, environmentalism, Chris Horner, and the host of nasty syndicated radio show Echo Talk, uh, Betsy Rosenberg. Uh, Betsy, let me just point out that uh, we've had how many scientists now on this panel that would release this issue of global warming, 154 countries, 90% likelihood that there's human activity. This is not a matter of dispute. This is something that's no, been not. issued by how many people in how many countries with how much verification. Yeah, what is it about the IPCC that they cannot spell? I'm sure that they've read the reports. It's actually 90 to 99 percent agree with uh, certainty. It's a consensus document. That's the whole point of the IPCC report. They have to come together and agree. So many people say it's actually a conservative estimate. And they're saying it's beyond a reasonable doubt that it is real, that it's arrived, and that humans are causing it. And it really shouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how that happens, uh, given the CO2 that we're putting Christopher in. Christopher Horner, the American Enterprise Institute, which is funded by ExxonMobil, is offering scientists in the United States and the United Kingdom and elsewhere $10,000 plus travel expenses and additional payments in exchange for articles that would attack this report. Is that proper? Uh, actually, you just heard someone say that this is a dispute, that the Oregon State climatologist who won't fall into line is going to lose his job, and many scientists are saying the UN isn't alarmist enough. But whatever it is, it's not in dispute. By the way, you're going to find 50 people's name on that document, not hundreds, not thousands. Okay, so you that's pretty question about the American Enterprise Coming from somebody who said, uh, I'm sure we read the report, guess what? We did. Now. AEI isn't doing what you or The Guardian, who, by the way, writes phony stories, I have personal experience with this, from things Greenpeace gives them from stealing, for example, my trash every week. So this is yet another one of them. Because are they offering $10,000? Is that a lie? AEI is doing, apparently the Greens are as we thought. They're trust fund babies who can work for free, despite the fact that Sierra Club's budget, for example, is $91 million a year, while my budget is $3 million. Are they offering money to That's scientists right. in order to come out uh, with a report favors honorary, them, and are they not funded by the oil companies, sir? Scientists what? in one forum in this world of ours, one form alone to waive honoraria, despite that's what academics suffer. Well, you're not answering my question. That's it's, it's true. The it's AIE the is funded global by ExxonMobil. We just heard there is no dissent. Do you understand the parallel universe? You're, you're totally ignoring my question, sir. <laughs> Why are you ignoring me? You answered your question. Uh, Betsy, the fact is, I'll talk to Betsy then. The AIE is funded by the oil companies, and they're offering money for people to write articles that conform with what they are getting funded. That's not what they do. said, Alan. That's not what they said. And if you read I'd the like letter, to know how many, how many they found of the proposals, the proposals to address climate change. It wasn't right, to address the science. Dispensing. It was to address the climate change proposals. That's legislation, which, as you know, ain't science. Betsy, you want to This is desperation. $10,000 for somebody who can come up with evidence that will dispute what the IPCC is saying. Read Who's come letter. forward? I'm That's what I'd like to know. Read what AEIS. They asked for assessments of legislative proposals. They didn't ask for an outcome. They didn't ask for scientific assessments. Why do you question whether someone read the IPCC report when you obviously didn't and you're mischaracterizing what AEI asked? That's why are what they I call questioning? A wild swing, uh, why are they questioning the majority of scientists from almost every country around the globe? What is the scientists we Where shouldn't believe? That? Since when don't what, we believe Betsy, wait, 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 wait. Stop! You, you keep going to this point that this is not an issue in dispute. It actually is an issue in dispute, and that's why well, not by credible scientists. What, well, let me read, for example, five. Let me Name ask. Let me, read, let me read from Timothy Ball. Uh, maybe you don't think he he's a person that's been involved. In, I'm sorry. Well, he Timothy says, Ball says so global, global, so warming, global warming as we think we know it does not exist. I'm not the only one trying to make people open up their eyes and see the truth. But few listen, despite the fact that I was the first Canadian PhD in climatology. I have extensive background in climatology, especially in the reconstruction of past climates and the impact and the change on human history and the human condition. Few listen. And he goes on to explain why. Uh, there are many people like him saying the same thing, Chris. Uh, th this is an issue that's in dispute, is it not? 
It very much is, Sean. And let me point out one extreme example. Al Gore projects 20-foot sea level rise. The UN report, the authority to which our colleague just appealed, just halved their estimate, cut it in half from 7 to 17. Wait, I'm not done. Inches. Inches. Okay? And we've seen that since the last ice age ended 18,000 years ago. Sea levels It'll rise until the next glaciation. I'm sorry. It'll be more. It's, it's wildly in dispute. Antarctica I have an idea. All right. Look, let's stop spending the $5 billion on climate that we do every year, which is exactly what we send to the National Cancer Institute, too, as they study for, uh, hey, Chris, a cure. Let me, yes. let me ask you, at, at the heart and soul of this, in your view, because I think there's global warming, hysteria, and indoctrination, there's certain, you know, natural, there's a certain natural ebb and flow to the, the Earth's temperature. But the hysteria that the left is trying to create here, what, what is the agenda behind it in your mind? Uh, Jacques Chirac called it global governance. That's his term, not mine. It's always been the same goal. When it was global cooling, it was the very same people, not the same kind of people, the same people saying, man, it's, it's, it just makes sense. Yeah. Science agrees because we can ration energy and we can transfer control to it. But it's also a social. It's also a socialist agenda, and that's where I want to ask you, Betsy. You know, look, people. when we had, for example, the first Earth Day 30 years ago, we've actually showed the images here on this program, Betsy. You have a lot of the same people, as Chris is pointing out, holding up signs that the ice age is coming, and they you know, they were as convinced ago, then actually. that the real ice age was coming. Now they're convinced global warming is coming. Uh, there are a lot of credible scientists that disagree with you that are on the record. You just want to close your eyes and ears to hear what they have to say. And you want to tell the American people that this is an issue that's been resolved. It's not resolved. By any Bring way, on the facts. Or... Bring on the science. It's out there. I urge your viewers to educate themselves. It's pretty darn clear. I have a stack. Read the IPCC. Thick. I have to start reading scientists. I have read many of these reports. After climate reports. They're all saying clearly. it's bogus, Betsy. Are they lying? Are they... I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. I said I have issue after issue, scientist after scientist, like Ted Ball, saying it's bogus and that you guys are involved in a political agenda that's pretty anti-capitalist. How do you respond? I've never that? heard of him. No credible scientist. He's the first Canadian PhD in climatology. If you go yeah. on, he has his Doctor of, of Science at the University of London, out. was a climatology professor at the University of Winnipeg. Name five climate scientists, Betsy. Just name you know, five. you can you can name you can name That's skeptics. That's what I thought. Okay? I've That's never heard of him. Wait, wait, wait. But can you name, first answer his question. Can you name five? Can you name five? Who are they? We've never heard of any of them. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. No. Nancy, can you you can't, Betsy. You can't yeah. name five. Say Al Gore. I want to know what you're so afraid of. You what if we err on question. the side of caution? Can you name five? we start to address all fossil fuels? I'll name uh, 154 countries that First happen to sign on to this, this agreement. A cleaner That's environment. And I'll name Secretary hundreds of scientists Chris. who actually sign on yeah. to the UN okay. panel. I thank you both. We if much. we do nothing, this, we're toast. We, we thank you both. And we check with Greta Van Susteren, who is uh, here to tell us what she has coming up right after Hannity and Combs at 10 Eastern. Greta.